hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with fate khaled liner prisma elia movie licked namai no nai shoujo or licked nameless girls uh reaction to this movie it has come out i think like in three or four weeks it has happened and it has already come out um i'm a bit late to react to this because i was busy with a few other stuff but yeah here i am and uh yeah so um i like you know watched all the others you, you've, you probably know i've watched all of these others on my spare time before i started youtube uh the recent movie that came out which was i think called oath under the moonlight or something i don't remember the actual name but which actually told tells us shiro's story you know new verse shiro's story uh that i had a reaction i did a reaction um and you guys probably have seen my reaction to it as well so this is the second uh thing that i'm reacting to for Khaled liner the anime in itself i've seen it before and i'll be honest i most of the times i always forget the actual storyline of Khaled liner because it's kind of different from the original story uh, i kind of read a few recap uh, you know like summary of the story in itself and i am up to date now again i probably have forgotten one or two things but yeah i, I remember most of the things that happened you know in in the, the third season of prisma Ilya, uh, this is a continuation from that. The previous movie, Oath Under the Moonlight, that was like a like a re like you know like a like a prequel to the first uh, season, which happened like you know like what happened before uh, season one. You know, in Mew's story, that whole section. Then Mew came to Fuyuki, and then this happened. This anime happened, and now Mew is kidnapped again. Like th this is how it's going. So this is, I think, a continuation from the third season of the anime, as far as I can understand. And we're going to see what happens after Shiro ends the story, you know, uh, the little recollection that he uh, tells them. And this is going to uh, resume after that. So I'm interested in seeing how this goes. I think another, I think movie or, or, or is it like an anime? It's like, you know, also like, you know, scheduled after this. What is it called? I think Zokuhen, Fate Carried Line April Maelia. Zokuhen. I think this is like this is going to be an anime or something. I'm not sure. It, it's not written what it's going to be. I'm guessing it'll probably be an episodic anime. So it'll be interesting when that releases. I'll definitely react to that as well. But for now, let's check this out. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So uh, it's a one hour 30 minutes movie. So without further ado, let's get started. This is my reaction to Prisma, uh, Ilya. Nali namai no nai shoujo. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is a preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, this, this is, I think, Beatrice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I remember her. Okay, that's Beatrice. The whole thing. Whoa. Damn, she is... Oh, no, this is Beatrice. Okay, I'm, I'm, that's Erica. Oh my god, I mix, I'm mixing up the names. The red-haired girl is Beatrice, isn't it? Yeah. The yellow-haired girl is Erica, I think. <laughs> oh, Kuro's also here. Oh. 
Well, it was always snowing, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm the first one to walk up. Oh yeah, Tanaka. That's a girl. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the whole story. Yeah. Yeah, sh like he made the wish upon the grail. Yeah, for you to go to a world where <laughs> nothing like this is happening. Oh no. Wow, what? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Someone else's house. <laughs> oh yeah, Angelica is with us now, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Tanaka. Oh boy. Where is she going? And not you. Oh my god. Who's snapping pictures? Okay, who's snapping pictures? Oh, okay, obviously. It's Ruby. <laughs> Budget is also. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. Ashira is here? No, wait, oh that's Tanaka. What? Oh no, what's happening? Oh boy, what what's happening? Oh my god. Okay, why is she going alone? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god why are these okay <laughs> well we're back to the school again I don't think we still have any information about Tanaka, do we? Like, we still don't know what she actually is. Oh my god, that's... Ah, uh, Erika.
Okay, why is she here? Yeah. Not for a long time. Oh boy. Uh. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. Open the pit house and kill me. Oh god. What the? Whoa! Is that is that Beatrice? Yeah, that's Beatrice. Like I was just saying this. Why is she alone outside? Like she's supposed to be. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Erica has gotten back to her form. That form. Okay, as far as I remember, she's she's Thor, isn't she? A heroic spirit? Or something like that? I don't remember. My god, oh god. Hmm. Has she transformed? Yeah. Yeah, she, she transforms to Berserker, hasn't she? Heractals. There you go. Wow. Damn! Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I okay. Yeah, but she can control lightning. Whoa. Yeah.
Damn. Arch. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know that, why? Because it's Heracles, but but her body itself, I don't think it's it'll be able to. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Where is Ilya? Wasn't she coming? Oh, there he Okay. <laughs> Shiro's here. All right. All right. Oh. Oh yeah, you forgot about Kuro. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Hmm. Oh my God. Is there? Okay. Now they're here. God, why are they like kind of going alone outside? Like first, Ilya learns uh, goes away, then Mew follows her. Ah. <laughs> well, we met. Yeah, Erika. Yeah, that's Hmm Ethos or something that Something about Pithos? Yeah, Pith... What doll? Damn it. Ooh, what? Oh my god, it's Pandora's okay. Oh Yeah. Wait, she's Pandora? Better holy brother. So they're not trying to get, okay, they're trying to bring the Pandora's for.
Oh. Pandora's box from the past. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, really? What why? Isn't You know what? I also need a little bit of what's a maiden creation? What's okay? The human created by the gods, okay. Yeah. Wait, the Pandora's was... Oh, wait. Wait, so Pandora's box was not opened here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well. Oh my god. Mm. I'm still confused about the whole Pandora thing. I need to check it out again. Okay. Yeah, what will happen? Oh, so it's been since it's kept closed, the display is even more. Yeah. Saving the internet is not an easy thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. True. So they're basically keeping the sacrifices to a minimum. Yeah, basically Kiritsugu's uh, policy. 
Hmm. Oh, no, that's just... I always feel so weird whenever I hear this quote, you know, like, and it reminds me so much of Fake Stay Night Shiro. Well, obviously, since she's <laughs> Shiro's sister. request ah uh, yeah because he is yeah <sighs> okay. No, uh, there you go. So that, that, that's Thor, isn't it? Yeah, like I remember like her saying that before as well. What the? What was that? Oh, Elika. Who? Wait. Oh, really? Oh. Consciousness. She's a hum. Not a homunculus, but.
90% of them. Okay. It's the dad, isn't it? Oh, okay, no. Wait, he is Odin or something? Oh, instead, what? Thousand years. Oh, for his own. For, yeah, Erica, Erica's sake, probably. Ah. Oh. All right. Damn. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah. As always, Ruby. Okay, here we go. Beatrice is here. So, wait, what are they going to do against her? Rin had a plan, so... Yeah, there you go. That's Tar. Okay. Okay, they have a plan. Whoa. Oh my god. And Erika's here as well. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
All right, let's see what plan they have. Just let them go. Hmm. All right. Obviously. Oh. Oh, it's Sakura, isn't it? Is that Sakura? Oh, fuck. Yep. Wait, that's Lancelot's helmet, isn't it? Yeah, that's Lancelot's helmet. The Berserker Lan Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This this a rider over right. Wait! Is that Gorgon? So she put in Ride Rider plus Berserker Gorgon, I guess. It's Gorgon, I think. Oh my god, what the hell? So Sakura's Lancelot here, I think, kind of. All right, okay. Where's Mew? I kill you. Oh my god! Whoa, what happened? What? Holding a breath. Wait! Who's that? Oh, this is an assassin. Oh, Serenity, I guess. Yep, that's Gorgon. There you go. 
So basically, combine Medusa and Heracles to make Gorgon. Damn. Oh! Damn! Whoa. Yeah, her hand is. Oh, okay. Wow, my God. Oh! <laughs> I think they're using CGI, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Damn. What is happening? Oh, that's why there's like that grimy. Oh, God. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, he, she kicked the Mjolnir. Damn. Is there more to the plan? Whoa! What the hell? One remaining? What? Is she like... What was she counting? Oh, really? Oh, no. Wait, so she's not Thor? 
Hold man. What hero is, is, it's pretty sure that she is from the Norse mythology. So, the real man, father. Who is she? Two sons. Oh, really? Is it? I'm not so good with Norse mythology, so I probably will be able to re remember the name. If what is the name? Who is the other one? Magni. Okay. Okay. So, oh my God, she's not Thor. Great. Oh no, the card is gone, isn't it? She's forcing it inside. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's crazy. Great. The one story. Uh. Oh god. My God. Oh, wow, she's seeing a hallucination. <sighs> oh, great. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. All right. So, who is she going to use now? Archer? Okay, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Uh Oh my god. Okay, that worked. I don't... Oh. Oh my god, no, I feel like... Yeah. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my... Why? Okay, they just...
Whoa, what is that? Is? Oh, this is the strongest. Oh my god, this is the strong. He can, she can use the. Uh, what's the name? Fra Fragra, Fragra, yeah. Yeah, the strongest attack. Oh my god. Oh, Gaybog, great. Yeah. Wow, so both... Both attacks that completely turns casualty, they use them to... Finish. Wait, what? Doesn't I even have a heart or something? Yeah, that's why. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Both Fragra and Gabal were used at the same time, I guess. Oh my god, what now? Oh yeah, the whole... Oh my god, but yeah, this... Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh! So now she's... Yeah, that's why she's gone completely crazy now. Oh! Wait, did it... No, no, her thoughts are coming. Can she use rule break? Okay, no, but rule breaker is with um, Mew, uh, Kuro, sorry. Yeah, she's losing that. God.
Oh yeah, I forgot. Ilya had, should be more attuned to Berserker more than. But that's that's something that happened on the other world, but not here still. Ah, oh, so this is like the past. Oh, she, she died or something. Oh my god. Whoa, what, what was that? How, how did she, how did she do that? How was Ilya able to stop her rampage? Like, I don't understand. How, how was she able to do it? She has something left. Oh, that's how. So she, she forcefully took out the... Okay. Yeah, so how wait, so But she's still... I didn't believe in it. Oh, so she was basically not sure. She thought her memory is gone. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's why she still had those feelings because okay, it makes sense now. I'm like, if she lost her feelings, then how is she still remembering this? But there you go. That ex that explains it. It's not she. She did lose it, but she you know got that back again. Hmm. Yeah. It's probably something to do with Erica, isn't it? Like as 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 they explained that he wants to sacrifice few to save uh, not something. Okay. As expected of Shiro's sister. <laughs> mm, it's uh, interference. All right, here we are. Yep, gone. Was it Darius? Oh no no, this is the dad, which will be replaced by okay. Emilia, who is this? Who the hell is this? I'm not the next hit and I don't have Oh, so this is a different person completely. This is not Erica. Oh my God. Uh Okay, so it's not Erica she's trying to he's trying to say it's Emilia? Yeah, that's why he's trying to do this before he gets overwritten by that is.
Oh. Wait, so who's Erica then? Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. So it's all... Um... The Darius wants to protect... Okay. What? How? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Elias. Wait, they're the same. No. No. Oh, Oh. Well, as the key to open it. Will never open. She's a key. I'm still not clear with this whole thing. Okay, I will need to.
Humanity is on the brink of destruction. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I think Pandora time. Okay. And the way to prevent him okay i kind of understand but still i'm still not clear i'll have to go back to that part again the explanation part of what pandora actually is what the For the future, despite the despair of What the... Damn. Wait, what?
Damn. Whoa! <laughs> well, I will because Mew is involved. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Well. What the? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, what is happening here? What? What? Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Whoa, she's M Medusa now. Can Bellerophon even work? I guess. I was expecting Excalibur, but...
Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, it's open. Damn, I'm like, how is she going up? Okay. Okay. Oh God, Dad. Okay, what happened after here? I'm kind of curious. That's Darius, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't he say that he wants to save Emilia then? Oh, she killed, tried to kill herself. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the thing that he... Yeah, she's not dead, like... Oh my god. Damn. Oh. Again. Damn. Okay, so I think she, she again installed Saber's card. And she probably said that I'll save you or something.
Yeah, but in a proper way. Yeah. Okay, now what? Uh. Okay, what, okay, what now? Oh, yeah. Um, Julian got defeated, that's why. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Both new and Yeah. Oh, but the world will die as well. Oh, so he wanted to stop that as well. Oh. Oh my god. Second person. Wait, so who's the first person?
Oh my god. Oh, it's Darius, isn't it? Oh, great. It's Darius. What the? What is it? What? Yeah, it is Darius. Oh my god. A concept replacement. Okay, so Tanaka is... Is for this time. The, we saw her standing on Gilgamesh's... What the... Whoa! You're gonna end it there. What is this? This is not an episodic anime. They ended a movie with a cliffhanger. What? I was, I was just wondering for a few moments ago. I was like, wait a minute. Everything seems like it's ending. It seems like, like you know, everything's going to end. So what are we getting another season for after this? Well, I got my answer. There's a few things I still don't have an answer about. I, I probably need to go back and check. I, I have a basic understanding of what's happening, but the details I'm still not so sure about. And there are still a few secrets that are like you know still waiting to be revealed for example what Tanaka who is Tanaka what is her goal like it seems like as Gilgamesh said that oh it's starting and Tanaka was standing there so it's probably something related to Darius like you know defeating the Ainsworth that's her goal but the actual reason and everything like anything you know who is she why was she created I'm guessing we're going to let to know we're going to get to know. You know what? I'm guess. I'm I'm making a guess here. Um, remember, uh, Emilia said something about you are the second person who tried to open Pithos. I'm guessing the person, the first person who tried to probably save Emilia, like you know, by killing her or something like that. That person probably was the one who has some relation with Tanaka maybe that person made Tanaka so that even if that person ab isn't able to complete the job that that person set off to do Tanaka would be able to do it like this is my guess I don't know because that that line still bothers me she says like you are the second person who tried to help me so I'm guessing the first person is probably someone related to Tanaka this is just a guess, so I might be wrong. Wow, okay, this is a good movie. I, I liked it.
I, I love how like you know Carolina is getting into a more serious territory <laughs> like season one and two where <laughs> oh my god okay to be continued like as I was saying I like how <laughs> Carolina is getting into more serious territory and uh, unlike you know season one and two where <laughs> we know what happens <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> uh, it's like you know the thing is like <laughs> like here's the thing um like a lot of people like you know like uh, want some fate recommendations and everything like you, you can recommend them fate grand order fate Day Night, Fate Zero, and you know, all these different, like, you know, Fate spin-offs and Carnival Phantasm, all that. You can recommend them these. But, you know, like, you, you deep down in your heart, you know that Khaled Liner has an actual good story. But <laughs> you cannot recommend it to people because of the first two seasons. Like, it's so awkward. Like, you know, like, you recommend this to someone and they're like, what the hell are you recommending me? Like what is this season one and season two and then it changes you know in, in season three it changes it, it, it starts changing from season three and kind of goes into a more uh like you know uh darker tone takes a darker tone and it kind of changes and then obviously we get the movie of shiro which is like one of the most badass movies and then like you know this namai no nai shoujo this one and which also is really interesting and i'm guessing the upcoming season or whatever it will be will also be very interesting but the first two seasons are oh my god <laughs> it, it is very awkward to recommend people this show just because of that <laughs> but yeah still the story is it's it's, it's really like kind of starting to go into a more serious and a more interesting you know like it taking an interesting turn and okay so what i liked about these move this movie is i'm going to talk about like obviously i'm not i won't be able to talk about everything it's a movie like I'll, I'll it'll take a long time to discuss each and everything so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to talk about what i liked and what i uh did not like you know like there is a few parts that i was kind of like uh ah, is this really how this is going a few parts so first of all let's talk about the sections that i was really impressed with i was impressed with the story in itself as always F fgo the fate franchise has a great story and uh, like we were delivered with an interesting story a few of the mysteries got um revealed what's happening um we got the actual uh backstory of beatrice which was one part that i really loved in this movie i loved the whole beatrice part i loved the battle there that was going on beatrice ver uh, and on the other side it was sakura versus uh, mew and uh, kuro while here bazette and Be uh, bazette and Ilya versus beatrice i loved that part um uh up until now i was under the impression that she was thor her hero spirit was thor but now we got to know that she's actually magni and uh, that's why like you know like even after recreating the legend of thor they weren't able to defeat her uh and you know like magni went out of control and we in the end i think we got to know that she had two spirit codes divine codes within her one was thor one was magni so as like you know thor's one got destroyed due to fragra uh, Magnus went crazy and she was kind of like you know like the lightning was taking away her memories and it, it was it was like you know it was a crazy thing that was happening there and uh, um, I love the backstory accompanying her as well where we got to know she was killed and uh, Julian tried to save her and it's probably uh, as she said like you know if you are you're you're kind of brought back from that type of a situation you're brought back to life there will always be something that is taken away from you her feelings and her love for Julian was taken away from her and uh, you know she wasn't able to like you know like she lost that so here's the thing I was very confused at that moment I was like wait so if that was taken away why does she still have feelings for Julian which also explains itself by the end because she's like an Ilya says that even though you lost that you again started liking him and it came back little by little to you so that's why she was so um you know like faithful and so like you know like listening to uh, um julian you know uh, that's why like you know there was like you know she was so loyal to him and uh, even though she lost her feelings before 
she got it back again little by little or not got it back i wouldn't say got it back she developed new feelings for him that's basically what happened and uh, that's what happened and that section was one of my like you know i loved the most about this movie the whole section of that battle and on the other side sakura versus um Mew and Kuro. Now, um, the revelation of that she was marketing was interesting as well. I loved the whole thing of like you know like where Ilya fused together two heroic spirit cards, uh, Rider, which is obviously Medusa, and um, Berserker, uh, like you know Heracles. And you know what? I can kind of see if <laughs> Medusa and Heracles fused. I can kind of see like you know like you know that both fusion can result to Medusa. You know like Medusa. Uh, like you know berserker has that like you know berserker like uh heracles has that berserker like that mad uh you know like what do you call it the mad enhancement or something it's called which makes you lose everything lose your mind that thing while medusa is medusa so both combined gorgon i can see that happening and i'm pretty sure that was gorgon in the end you know when she fused both of them overwritten both of both berserker and uh, rider's cards uh, that was gorgon definitely and uh, i'm guessing i wouldn't be able to understand what the hell happened <laughs> if i did i was not a fate grand order player um it was very apparent what happened over there that was gorgon and you know like i i really enjoyed that section and the fight was really good even though they kind of use cgi and the animation is obviously not ufo table quality it was really interesting even though like you know i i really loved the animation and the fighting sequence and you know what i feel like this kind of makes me realize that it's not that you need some high budget animation studio doing your stuff even if like in the animation is simple and like you know not as flashy as your for table wood, st wood studio mappa it's still really interesting to see these type of like you know like long animation sections happening you know like it was a very long section where they were continuously fighting and the animation was obviously not smooth it was kind of clunky and all that but still i enjoyed that section that whole inter like you know without any interruption battle section i really enjoyed it you know like that makes me realize like yeah like not always like you know you need a <laughs> good studio animating your stuff if you even if you're not good with the animation if you give it a try like this it's good i i, I enjoyed that i don't know what you guys felt but i really enjoyed that section of that animation section, that fighting section it was, it was interesting and uh, yeah and then like you know she ended up saving uh, beatrice and uh, oh and and then in the end uh, like i i love that part but i was thinking i was thinking like why isn't buzzet using her fragra and then i realized yeah like you, the other person needs to use her or his strongest attack so that's when in the end almost in the end when uh, beatrice used everything in his in her attack that's when buzzard came out and she's like all right time to use my fragra because the conditions are like you know like uh, the conditions are fulfilled she's using her strongest attack my fragra will be activated and the attack did not hit them because obviously as far as i remember fragra inverses the whole casualty or something yeah where the thing hits before it hits you so it ends up you know like it ends up the attack not even starting so you don't get hit by that attack because your attack has always hit the enemy or something like that it is so yeah so that's how that thing ends but obviously she had two divine cores nobody knew about that so magni started going crazy after that and yeah we save her and uh, like you know Ilya and her have a little talk that section was fantastic i loved it the other part uh where um, kudo and mew were fighting against sakura that was quite interesting as well because i think i realized in this today is that that's actually lancelot's helmet so i'm guessing sakura kind of has like the lancelot's thing going on it makes sense i guess because karia was lancelot's master and you know like the whole thing in fate zero so sakura i could see her having some affinity with uh lancelot so you know and obviously since, since both of them are completely crazy you know like my lancelot berserker and sakura uh, i guess it they kind of tuned in or something and uh yeah that that was happening while on the other side um we see two i think two servants mew took form of one was hassan and obviously it's like the poison kind of made me realize that's hassan of serenity uh, again since i play fg i was able to understand that 
And uh, the second one was obviously Ku Hulin with Gaybolg. And uh, it's interesting to see how both the attacks, both Fragraha and Gaybolg were like, you know, unleashed at the same time. And both of them have like the same uh, kind of, you know, like, what do you call it, effect. Like both kind of inverses casualty. So Sakura was also was defeated while on the other side, uh, mm, what's her name? Um, Beatrice was also defeated. Another funny thing here, <laughs> both of the attacks kind of failed its purpose because um, Beatrice had two divine cores, you know, two cores. <laughs> so one of it got destroyed, one was left, while Sakura had none. Sakura had no heart. And uh, that's why the gay ball did not hit the heart. So she was just injured. Her heart was not destroyed. But she doesn't have any heart. And uh, yeah, Sakura kind of temporarily retreated, I guess. So that, that section, I love that section. Um, uh, other than that, I love the part of the story as well, where they kind of explain the whole thing with Beatrice. Now, as far as I could understand, the whole thing with... Uh, not Beatrice, sorry. Uh, Emilia. Oh my god, all the names are... Like... <laughs> I'm mixing up ReZero with this, you know, there's Beatrice here, there's Emilia here, like what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. So okay, uh, Emilia. Emilia here, um, I, I, as far as I could understand, Emilia is Pandora. And uh, Pandora has been like, okay, you know what, I'll try to find out that part where they explain about Pandora, like what is happening. Okay, is it the original omen, the one who always with me, a gift from the gods. Her original name is, my true name is Pandora. Okay, Six, okay, here it is. 6,000 years ago, the pithos was made by the gods to avert the destruction of mankind. Okay, pithos was made to avert the destruction. And the gods created a mud doll as the key to open it, which is her, I'm guessing. Okay. Now having left that role unfulfilled, I'm adept from the age of gods that ended up living to the present day. Wait, so the pithos was made to avert destruction and she's the key to open it. As a guarantee, my death was made by the gods to be sealed. Wait, as a guarantee, my death was made by the gods to be sealed within the pithos. I have no clue what this line means. A death was made by the gods to be sealed. And the pithos will never open until destruction comes. Wait, so she... What? I, I still don't understand. The story of Pandora it will never end until I die. Okay, can you please explain this part to me? I still don't understand. So what, like they're saying the pithos was made to avert destruction. And then they're saying if the pithos opens, like, you know, the world will end. Like, like aren't, aren't that contradict, uh, contradicting each other? Uh, isn't that contradicting each other? I don't understand this part and she's saying she's the key. So, okay, you know what? Let me read that part once again, if I can understand again. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, as if I'd forget the original woman, the one who was always with me, a gift from the gods. Her original name is my true name is Pandora. 6,000 years ago, the pithos was made by the gods to avert the destruction of mankind. Okay. And the gods created a mud doll as a key to open it. And now having left that role unfulfilled, I'm adept from the age of gods that ended up living up to the present day. I, is there like a translation error here? Because I don't think this... This doesn't make any sense. They're saying that... Uh, the pithos was made to avert destruction. 
And then she's saying that I was made as a key to open the pitos. Okay, um, yeah, I, I don't understand. She's saying like the pitos was made to avert destruction, and then she's saying I'm a key, so I was not used, the rule was unfulfilled. That's why I'm here. As a guarantee, my death was made by the gods to be sealed within the pitos. I have no clue what this line means. And the pithos will never open until destruction comes. Wasn't the pithos made to avert destruction? So why? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So since the pithos was made to avert destruction, that's why the pithos will not open until destruction comes. Oh. So they're trying to open the pithos. Is that's what they're trying to do? So they're trying to destroy the world so that the pithos opens. Is that what they're trying to do? I'm talking about Darius, not Julian. Julian. I'm not talking about him. He wants to, you know, like, you know kill uh, Emilia. But Darius is trying to open the pithos. That's why they're trying to destroy the world so that the pithos will open. Uh, because until and unless destruction comes, the pithos is not supposed to open. Is that what's happening? Okay, please let me know. This this section is still confusing me. I have no clue what the hell they're trying to say here. And what what is actually Emilia's role here? I still don't understand that. Emilia or Pandora's role. So Okay. So yeah, that was like the thing. Now uh, another thing we got to know, another thing that I liked about this is like the as I said, the story like you know revolving around Emilia. I like that. Um the the another thing we get to know here is Emilia that that like you know that person we saw who killed herself she she's trying to kill herself continuously but the th the thing here is uh that uh Julian also wants to kill her but he wants to kill her in a way where she will be uh what can I say content with her death she won't die in a way like that she wants her to have a proper death you know where she will be like okay thank god like you know like you know i'm able to see this before i die or this is the state of the world before i die like she wants her to have peace after death so dying in that manner that is not something that julian wants emilia to have she doesn't want emilia's final memory to be in pain and agony she wants her to pass away with a smile in her face and that's the reason what like that's what they're trying to do and she, that's why he's trying to hurry up the whole like you know thing so that she, he, like, you know, like, so that Darius doesn't overwrite him. He's trying to do this before that happens. That's why the, all of these things, she tries to get Mew to get the Holy Grail. And obviously, again, like, you know, he's also trying to get Ilya because as he says in the end, that one is to open the box. And after the mud comes out, the whole like, you know, world will be destroyed. So after that, he's going to use the other Grail to destroy the box, like Pithos. So that was like his goal. That's why he wanted two Holy Grails. And these things, I, I understand what, what he's trying to do. I understand the reason. Uh, and obviously, Emilia also doesn't want to die like that. You know, he, she, she's in pain and agony. She's trying to kill herself. And, you know, because of the 6,000 years of pain and agony, she doesn't want to live anymore. But at the same time, she also wants to die with a smile in, his, in her face. And uh, that's why, you know, like, that's basically what was happening. Like... I yeah that's the story as far as you could understand. So these are the sections that I really liked. I I enjoyed the battles, the like you know all, all that things and everything. It, it was it was good. I liked that. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like the in the the ending portion, I feel like they kind of took like you know a lot of you know the whole friendship is everything that saves like you know like a friendship is something that saves everything and like power of friendship they bring brought that and they kind of applied it a lot more than i ex was expecting because i don't have any problem with the power of friendship you know but when they kind of overdo it i i, I feel kind of like you know <laughs> uneasy and un like kind of weird and i feel like they kind of overdid it here especially in the final section when Ilya was fighting uh you know um julian i'm like oh my god they're going ham with this like, you know, they're going full out with this whole power of friendship, power of feelings, power of this, power of that. And like for a moment, like, and I'm like, all right, they are probably kind of overdoing it. That's the slight little um, grievance that I have with this movie, you could say. Otherwise, everything was really good, you know. And uh, as I said, I'm not 
like you know i'm not opposed to the whole power of friendship thing i enjoyed that myself as well but at a limit you know it should not overdo that <laughs> and i felt like this final section kind of overdid that whole thing <laughs> Where Elias just like oh like you know power of friendship will save you and then she just goes there and just everything happens in such a swift manner and it seems like she's not even struggling to defeat Darius whereas up until now not Darius sorry Julian up until now she was you know, like wasn't able to do anything to him like everything ha happened in a matter of seconds but I guess you know like you, you probably we can have a little bit more of explanation here uh, because I guess Julian has himself was probably very troubled by the end of that whole part where you know like when Ilya confronted him with oh you also don't want the end to be like this he probably himself was conflicted which probably made him a lot more weaker you could say and that final battle probably happened like that or I don't know so maybe that's a reasonable explanation to that also we could see Ilya just like you know swapping cards one after another maybe that was also another reason why she was able to do it so easily because she i think she used three cards you know uh continuously like swapping one after the other it was berserker then for a moment uh, you know like she used Bellerophon uh, or medusa's card to kind of go in and then there was a, the final section she she used art artory up and dragon's card and you know like uh like yeah the final stab he she used that power so maybe that as well but you know like everything went in such a way i'm like okay i feel like they're overdoing this whole power of friendship thing but still it, it, was, it was okay i guess like you know nothing much to talk about that but the premise in itself the story in itself was interesting and we do have a little bit of an answer to everything that's happening everything was kind of uh, shrouded in mystery up until now we do have a lot of answers from this movie However, there's a few things that we still don't know. Number one, who is Tanaka? What is her plan? Because in the end, we see Darius kind of overpowering them. We don't know what happened to Beatrice, uh, like, you know, um, what's his name? What's her name? Um, Emilia after that, like, she got stabbed. So, and I'm still not so sure about Darius's plan, what she's trying to do, he's trying to do. And I, I'm, I'm not sure about Tanaka, what she is, who is she? Gilgamesh we saw him on the sky and she was like ah this is just the start <laughs> yeah so yeah I, the theory that I talked about I'm, I'm going to again say it here I feel like this is just my theory and I this is just my guess uh, the one thing that Emilia said that you're the second person who tried to save me like this uh, I feel like Tanaka is somehow related to the first person who probably tried to save Emilia and failed and you know probably because that person failed that person probably made tanaka or did something and gave her the task to end this whole thing in that person's behalf so that's why tanaka is here or something like that this is just a guess but i feel like this has a high chance of happening something like this and uh, yeah oh another little secret we got to know here is angelica is the elder sister of julian that's another little like you know interesting section you know, part that we got to know and uh, yeah that was it that was all with the, the secret everything like in you know, a lot of sections got uh, revealed a lot of part got revealed and a lot of secrets that we had not secrets but mysteries that were surrounding this whole thing got revealed and uh, yeah i'm guessing it, this will be continued in the upcoming season and it ended in a horrible cliffhanger like I've never seen an, a movie, like you know, an anime movie do that. Like I don't think I remember any anime movie ending in a cliffhanger. So <laughs> god damn. Like the whole thing with Kuro, you know, like the crushing the card. Um I'm pretty sure nothing will happen to her, hopefully. But we'll see, you know, like because Kuro is one of the main characters and uh, I don't know, like if destroying her or killing her off, I don't think that's going to happen. So yeah, just a sec. Let me check. Uh, I think the next season, I'm guessing, will start from will start from next year, or is it this year? Sequel: Fred Khaled Liner, Prisma Ilya, Zokuhen, and uh, okay, no, nothing is written. 
unknown everything's unknown we don't even know when this is going to come out so from the title i could i think it's probably going to be uh, an episodic anime it's called zokuhen so you know i'm guessing it's probably going to be like an episodic anime or something not a movie i don't think this will be a movie it'll all uh, either be yeah it'll probably be like a uh, episodic anime or something we'll see but yeah everything will be continued from here yeah that's it guys that was my reaction to fate Khaled liner prisma ilia uh namai no nine shoujo so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and uh, yeah if you if i made any mistake or like you know that, that few and that section that whole pandora section I'm, I'm still unable to understand that like you know more like you know details of that part so if you are able to explain that properly to me please let me know in the comment section because i think i can understand but the details of it the nitty uh, like you know gritty details of it i probably am still unable to be clear on that portion so let me know so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day